my pick of the week this week was uh, Rocketeer Adventures by IDW. Now, a little bit of history with The Rocketeer. The Rocketeer is a book that came out by Dave Stevens uh, in 1982. I have the uh, definitive Complete Adventures, which is a fantastic hardcover book. If you can find it, go and pick it up. But I really had an affinity with this character since um, the, the movie that came out in 1991. I was about 12 years old when it came out, 11, 12, and I was right at that target market for that type of story. Um, probably didn't get a lot of the, uh, the, the Nazi references or anything like that. I just saw a guy flying around with a rocket strapped to his back and, you know, it was, it was awesome. And, you know, that's what the Rocketeer gave to me in terms of the Rocketeer Adventures, issue one. You've got some great great work in this book. You've got John Cassaday writing and drawing some sequential work. He's um, He's been doing a lot of covers recently, but this is him getting back to doing some sequential work and really channeling some Dave Stevens kind of um, panel borders and the way that you, you break with grids and things like that and also how Dave Stevens used to use grids effectively. He was a person who could really go and, and really build a page from the ground up. It's not panel to panel, it's a page. Dave Stevens always have great pages. You had a Mike Mignola Rocketeer cover that was just to die for. It was brilliant. And if anybody was going to be able to really channel that, you know, character versus Nazis versus gangsters in the 1940s, 30s and 40s, it's got to be Mike Mignola. I mean... Hellboy and and really um, having a look at Lobster Johnson. Lobster Johnson reminds me so much of uh, of the Rocketeer, and it really had a warmth. That that one cover, that one page, brilliant. The my favorite story in this whole anthology was the um, the Mike the um, the Mike Allred story. Um, Mike, the Mike Allred story uh, continues on with some plot lines that um, was at the end of Cliff's uh, New York adventure. The final uh, issue has him returning uh, back to uh, back to his hometown to get the rocket fixed, to get his uh, his helmet fixed up, and really Allred on here. He's using his own style. He's not channeling anything. But he draws the most amazing Betty. And really, it's all to do with the brushwork. It's all to do with the way that Ored instinctively knows when to use an economy of line. When to really, you know, it, it's, it's all about making the characters look three-dimensional in a two-dimensional pane and how he can do that with the, the most brilliant brushwork. The fourth story on here is called Dear Betty. It was written by K Kurt Busiek. And um, the, probably the story that uh, really broke with the format a lot. Um, looking, it was more about looking at the, the time in history that the Rocketeer was, um, was, was shown in, was depicted. And really it... it it makes the story quite unique, but I didn't have the emotional impact with myself in that story, if because of the fact that it didn't um, it didn't conform with you know a, a, a typical you know kind of rocketeer story. Brilliantly drawn, it's a brilliant piece, but I I just loved the first two pay, two, two stories that I don't know whether it. Um, it did as much for me. Uh, yeah, that's that's hardly uh, that's hardly low praise. I'm not really saying that it's a it's a bad story. I'm just basically saying that it didn't resonate with me as much as the the first two books. But I digress. But the Rocketeer Adventures by IDW. If you haven't picked it up, there should be enough. Well, there were plenty of issues at my LCS. Go and pick it up. But next month, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. You've got Darwin Cook. You got Jeff Darrow. You got Gene Ha. Gene Ha. They got some um, 
I got some preview pages at the back of here. It looks phenomenal. Hopefully he does that that nice um, wash colours that he, he brought into those couple of pages of a uh, couple of issues of Starman that he did uh, back in the day. You've got some Mike Mark Wade written books, and you know that's just name a few of the people that are, that are um, that are contributing to this this anthology, and every page drips like it, it shows their love for that character and really their love for Dave Stevens as well. Um I really, really, really hope that Rags Morales uh shows up at some point in this anthology because he he to me has the closest uh style to um to to the Dave Stevens style. He the way that he he makes his characters look on the page looks very very similar to um, to Dave Stevens, and I'd really like to see him in this book. Might not, but I hope I do. Uh, so, guys, pick up Rocketeer if you can. Search out the hardcover Rocketeer hard well the hardcover of the Rocketeer Adventures. I think they're bringing out a new copy of this uh, in the future anyway. But this is a brilliant book. Go and get it. Um, and even go and go and dig out the movie. Go and dig out the movie and have a have some some fun with that as well. All right. See you guys.